Welcome back to another Excel at Excel. My name is Lloyd here once again with Patrick Howard. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Lloyd. How you been? Great. How's it going? Been pretty good. Been pretty good. Um, today we're going to come at you guys with something uh, continuing from the last the last episode that we did here. Uh, Patrick, if you would explain for us, let us know what we're going to be working on today. Sure. I'll, let me go ahead and just share my screen. We'll sure. Start. Uh, it's actually, you've disabled the uh, shared screen, so I need, need you to enable oh. shared screen. Hold on a second. What? Uh, one participant can share at a time, it says. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, put in, uh, here, I'm going to set it so that multiple participants, I don't think I have yeah, any. Yeah, that, that's all you have to do is multiple participants. Okay, weird. I wasn't sharing, so go ahead and try. There we go. I'm just going to share my screen. All righty. So um, you're not seeing my, uh, so I, I can see the videos here in my upper right. Are you seeing that or not? The video share? I, I have us two in the upper right, and then I have your screen uh, currently on Excel right now. Did, did I just move us? No, I think you're good. Okay, I just I wasn't sure what you could see there. So yeah, right now I can uh, see Excel, Excel, more fun with charts. We're on the title tab. Okay. So okay, well, so today um, we just want to have a little more fun with charts and graphs. And we talked last week about uh, how do you make a chart or a graph. Uh, it's a very simple process. I hope that um, you know, I hope people have had a a little opportunity to to to, uh, to practice those techniques. Uh, once you do it a couple of times, I think you're going to find it's really easy to do. And we're going to have a little bit more fun with that. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to, to uh, build a chart or a graph, but uh, it may not be exactly where you want it. You might want it in a document somewhere. You won't want it in another worksheet. So we're going to explore how to do that today. And did you, if you will recall our why, last week we talked about uh, uh, we use charts and graphs simply to paint a, a visual picture of data. Uh, people can see uh, a picture a whole lot better than they can see data sometimes. Well, yeah. and the old saying, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. And that's really true. It's certainly worth a thousand numbers. So that's why we use charts. And we're just going to do a simple exercise, actually four exercises today. Uh, first of all, we're going to create a chart and we're going to move it to an existing sheet. So like one of these other sheets we have, we're just going to move it there. And then we're going to create a chart and a, a new sheet at the same time. So we're just going to put this new chart, new chart in a new sheet. And then we're going to take this graphic that we created and we're going to put it in a boring presentation, like a PowerPoint uh, presentation. <laughs> in a boring presentation. <laughs> right. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll, give you a, uh, uh, I'll give you a forewarning here. It's, it is a really boring presentation. <laughs> Why am I here? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then also, uh, we're going to take a look at, at how... Uh, uh, you know, sometimes, like we saw last time with those 3D graphs, you had had some of them you couldn't even see. Uh, so we're going to show how you can change the order, you know, where those display in a different order and you can see them all. Okay. Uh, real simple stuff, but let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right. And uh, you may recall our, our sales data from last time and actually uh, went back and added February this time. <laughs> uh, being a good sales manager, you should have all year. Um, but you remember, we to uh, make a graph, we simply highlight the data. And over here under the insert tab, let's do recommended charts. I'm just going to select this first one right here and click OK. Yeah, we remember that's, that's very simple to do. Yeah. Now, let's say I really don't want this graph on this sheet. I want it maybe in this one. It's got nothing. OK, well, right click. Let's move the chart. Can, can you see the menu? Uh, yes, currently I can okay. see you're hovering over move chart. There we go. Okay, so uh, object in, we're going to put it in example one and click OK. Now you see we're in example one right now, move over sales data, the, the chart's gone. And it's over here now. Easy. Now you, yeah, you, it, very simple. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? Okay, well, let's put this over here for now. Let's say, oh, I'd like to compare a couple of charts next to each other and uh, maybe a couple different types of charts. Um, and let's do, oh, let's do that one. 
All right, so I created that. Let's move that over to example. Oops. Move that over to the same sheet, example one. Okay, so maybe I'd like to compare those two charts next to each other. Okay, now I can do that. Now, th this probably wouldn't be a particularly useful comparison, but um, if I were, oh, I'll tell you, well, this doesn't take very long. Let's just create something that might be useful. So uh, let's say I wanted to, oh, just do the January sales um, in a chart. I'll say January sales for all the reasons in a chart. Uh, let's, let's see, let's use that one. Let's use the same chart every time here. All right, let's move it over to example one. All right, so we we'll move that over. Let's create another one for, let's say, July. So let's highlight that row and holding the control key down, we'll highlight this row. And just real quickly, the difference between uh, uh, highlighting selective uh, cells and rows and columns versus the whole thing. If I were to highlight this and hold the shift down and put it on June, whoops, hold on, let me back that up. So highlighting this and then putting it on June, holding shift down, it's gonna highlight everything in between. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you do control, it's just that row. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make a chart now. We'll make the same one. Oops. All right, let's move it over. Okay, so this might be a little more useful comparison, uh, comparing uh, January sales versus June sales. Yeah. You know, that, that might be something you would actually wanna do. And again, remembering if you want to change the type of chart, it's real simple to do that. Uh, you change, you, know, you can right click on the chart. Oops, not in this area here, but actually up up here. So right click on that and change chart type. So let's, I'll tell you what, let's use, um, well, let's use an area chart. So just real simple, right click, change chart type and area. There we go. Very simple. Easy. Yeah. And let's see, let's see the next exercise. Oh yes, we're going to create a chart in a brand new worksheet. So it's a very simple or simil similar process. Let's just select that whole thing again and back up to insert. Let's get a recommended chart. And we'll just use that one right there. Click OK. Now, let's move that chart. But instead of an object in, we're gonna move it to a new sheet. And I'm just gonna label that, uh, let's say regional sales. And click okay. Now you see right here, I have this tab named regional sales. Right. With this chart in it. Very simple. And that's the only thing in it too. Yeah, that, that's it. So. And again, if you want to change that, you, you have these menus up here, you can change it to, you know, some other uh, look and feel. If, again, if you were in a dark room uh, for a, a, a PowerPoint presentation, you might like that mm -hmm. um, you know, versus this. That, that might be very bright. So you might want something dark. But anyway, very simple to do that. And um, you may notice here too, this regional sales is actually to the left of sales data. Maybe I don't want it there. Maybe I want it over here. You just grab it and drag it. And now, now they're in a different order in whatever yeah. order you like. Yeah, very simple. Let's see, the next thing, I'll tell you what, before we put the graphic in a boring presentation, I'm going to uh, show you how to change the display order in a graph. Okay. So let's go back to sales data and let's create another, whoops, create another graph. I'll show you why this is important actually. So let's do, uh, let's do a 3D chart. I'm going to use that one. All right, I'm going to move this to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. Let's move it over to three. All right, so I'm gonna blow this chart up and make it easier to see. 
There we go. All right, so you see the yellow, which is west, it, it gets kind of hidden behind, oh, what is the, uh, uh, this is south, okay? And actually, see, see how when you mouse over, it tells you it's south, yeah. or this one here is Texas, or this one here, it, it tells you what it is, and it, it gives you that value of, of, of what that particular value is. So to, if we say we want to bring this up a little forward so we can see it better, um, right click, let's select the data, and let's take, uh, you know what, I'm gonna cancel F right now. Let's see, what was that? West, we're gonna move. Okay, so let's say it again, we're gonna move west. So uh, select data and click on west. And you see these arrows right here? This yep. allows you to move it up and down. So I'm just gonna move it down so you can see what happens. So I moved it towards the back. So let's move it back towards the front. Okay, see how that's working? Yeah. So that might work a little bit better there, and maybe even one in the front like that. And then you might say, okay, south, uh, it's kind of hard to see. So let's move that maybe up a row. Nope, that didn't work too well. So there we go. That, that looks a whole lot better. You can see it a lot better. Yeah. Let's click OK. And that, that changes the order of, of, of how these are displayed. And that, um, as you can see, that's, it makes this a whole lot easier to see, especially the, the lower performing regions. You can see that much easier. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to try this 3D rotation one time here. We tried that last week and it was a little persnickety, but uh, I think it was a Zoom problem. Let's just, okay, look, it's let me do it now. So you see how you can do the X along the X axis, which is the horizontal axis. Mm -hmm. As you uh, go up or down, see how it rotates that, that graph. Mm -hmm. And then on the Y, which is the, the vertical axis, uh, if you did the same thing, you know, maybe it's a whole lot easier to see it if you have more of an overhead view. Yeah. Okay. You could do that. So that's how you change the order uh, and, and manipulate these graphs to make them uh, a little more visible. Now let's take this same graph and let's do our last exercise, which I, I guess I should have put that last, but we're gonna place this graphic in a boring presentation. <laughs> and I think we've all sat through these boring presentations before. And actually, I've created a boring presentation. It's called a really boring presentation. So we're going to, just going to take that and we're going to put it in this next slide here. Um, actually, let me move this over here. And I'm just going to delete this stuff because I really don't need it. So it's very simple. All you do is come over here to this graph you want, right click. Let's copy it, come over here, right click, and paste. There you go. There you go, it's so there. Just pasting an element similar to doing a picture or any other, yeah. even text. Yeah, and you can still manipulate the size on this. Now you need to make sure you have the, uh, the data and, and the order manipulated correctly before you do this, because uh, this really is just coming over as an image, except like here in chart title, you can actually still change that. Mm -hmm. Like, let's see here, sales by region. And uh, oops. and you can make that you know, whatever size you like. Uh, so that's probably a little more readable right there. And that's the same thing with, with all these other elements. You can still control those. Yeah. But uh, uh, you, you won't be able to manipulate the data. And, and something interesting with this, too, I, I love... I know we're getting into PowerPoint here, but I love some of the, the design ideas that they give you. For instance, uh, you know, this is what we have now. Maybe you like, like that little, I don't Definitely. know why, you know, you might like that or you might not, or, or, or uh, let's see here, this with this little gray bar. Um, it, you know, it's, this really gives you some great suggestions on how to add just a little, a little pop to these graphs you just created. I mean, this is, if you're in that, that meeting with this boring presentation, this is already going to stand out, I can tell you. Um, you know, people are going to, going to take a look at that and let's see, again. No, I'm going to see if you can actually rotate it, but yeah, it's okay. You can still rotate it from here. Yeah. I think anything yeah. to make them pop just a little bit more is always good, which PowerPoint really does help with. They have a lot of good things. And I always say, don't make it hard on yourself. Don't reinvent the wheel. If they give you something easy to work with that makes your presentation look good, feel free to use it. No one's going to judge you for it, you know? Right. 
if we had a little bit more time, uh, I'd tell you exactly what I would do is I would create five different charts, one with Texas, then another one with Texas and South, and another Texas, South, and East, and, and then just stacking them on here. And that way I could use a slide transition to bring them in one row at a time Yeah, during my presentation. Yeah, that's a that's a good tool there. Yeah, something to make it so that they can see it bit by bit yeah. as it grows and expands. And yeah, no, those are those are some really good things. Uh, PowerPoint always makes it easy. I'm I'm glad that it's a it's an easy to use tool. Right, and I wanted to demonstrate uh, today, you know, just how easy it is to go from from one Microsoft application to another. Uh, we, we could do this uh, if we wanted to do it in a Word document. Uh, it's it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. We can just put that right in there. Bing, there bam, boom, done. Yeah. And, and you could go to all, if you wanted to save this, like if you wanted this to use this particular chart again a year from now, you could actually save this image somewhere um, and, and do that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, so you don't have to just do a copy paste. You can save it and then insert that image. But uh, very simple stuff to do with, with Microsoft. They make it very easy, very, yeah. uh, very uh, user friendly. That they do. But that's what I've got today, Lloyd. Um, just wanted to kind of show, it, it's one thing to be able to cre create something, but uh, you know, I think it's another to learn how to use it or why you would want to use it. And, um, you know, this is a great example. That, that's, uh, this, is, this is why you make charts right here. Is, is so you can, uh, at a moment's note, or at, in, in a very brief presentation, give a whole picture of what's happening with, with this organization. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's wonderful that you know we've been able to just go in and not only learn how to do it but you've showed real life examples of why you'd want to do it that's it's something that people can take away I, yeah, really yeah. And, you know uh the, the the people are not quite as old as me might not know this but you know 50 years ago this would have taken a whole art department you know maybe a couple <laughs> of months to do okay mm -hmm. we just did this and i don't know how long we've been on but we just did a bunch of charts in a few minutes yeah you'd be uh this would be something that would also be presented on what poster boards and uh maybe right. on a slide projector or something if you're yep. going real fancy exactly yeah <laughs> so yeah no things have definitely been streamlined it's made it so that i mean computers are great in that regard they've made it so that you know it doesn't require teams of people to do things like this anymore and it it makes it so that you can do it like you said within minutes i mean we've done multiple within this the short time that we've been working on this year Right. Awesome. But that's what we have today. Uh, a real simple, uh, quick lesson. And I hope people are playing with this stuff. And just, again, remember, you're not going to mess anything up. Just get in there and play around with this stuff. And you'll be amazed at how easy it is and, and, and how quickly you learn how to pick this stuff up. Oh, definitely. Yeah. No, this, it's been, uh, I, I, I hope that people have been playing around with it too. If you don't have the program, that's understandable. Um, but I mean, there are, um, there are some, these are at least some really good resources that you can use. So whenever you do get access to it, maybe like when you go back to the library or if you do plan on purchasing the program for your own use, you can have something to start working with, you know, a basis that you can use, you know. Um, but sure. yeah, thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you. We really appreciate it once again for showing, pleasure. having you show us this stuff. Um, this has been another Excel at Excel and we will catch you guys next time. Let's do it. Bye.